Hey, Puggytar, Link here. Do you like SCWs? No, of course you don't. Well, too bad, because that's what we're talking about today. For this video to make sense, I would recommend watching my first SCW video, which explains the mechanics of SCWs and how to do them. Okay, so if you remember, in my first video on SCWs, I mentioned that there are two types of storage. Shield Surf, where you can walk around with a cutscene stored, and Updraft, where upon landing, the cutscene plays. This is completely wrong. Disregard what I said about it. From our new understanding of SCWs, there is only one type of storage which is achieved in both methods. Why do they work differently then? Well, it is because of the updraft, but not in the way we thought. It was discovered that when you have the cutscene stored, the game will make it play if you are grounded and the elevator's physics are loaded. The updraft is constantly physically interacting with the elevator, requiring it to stay loaded as a physical object, which causes the cutscene to play when you land. This can be seen because when you get updraft storage, then bomb the updraft, you can walk around freely with the cutscene stored. Other physical objects, like arrows and thrown weapons, can keep the elevator in this state as well, but they aren't used at the moment. The game will also load in the elevator's physics if it is close and you look at it, which is why looking back at the shrine will play the cutscene. With that out of the way, the main focus of today's video is going to be an alternate routing option for all shrines that can save around 4 minutes by skipping the camera room. Why isn't it used? Well, because it has two more pause buffered SCWs, and one of them is way harder than the others in the route. The camera rune is required in three different shrines quests to unlock them. One is Lakna Rookie, where we already do an SCW. Another is Kaya. The SCW we can do here has very little distance compared to the others, although it is slightly abnormal due to the strong wind pushing against you. You can just do a speed midair with a slightly delayed square bomb placement into its entrance radius. The third shrine the camera is needed for is Shoka Tatone. This is the most difficult SCW that's actually useful, and is the most prominent reason camera skip isn't used. If we look around where Shoka Tatone is located, we see that there is only one close shrine that it would be reasonable to SCW from, which is Keo Makag. It's not too far away, but we run into a different problem, height. This large hill is in between Keo Makag and the entrance radius of Shoka Tatone, which may make the SCW seem impossible, but thanks to Moonswing 27, there is a way, albeit a difficult one. Moonswing actually found two different ways, but one of them uses an excessive amount of wood, so we're not going over that one, as the other option is better. By doing a mid-air wind bomb within the unload radius of Keo Makag, then doing another one before starting to pause buffer like normal, you can get enough height to make it over the hill and into the entrance radius of Shoka to Tone, without touching the ground. This may seem really intimidating, and it is quite difficult, but here's how to do it. Make sure you have a good amount of stamina and some stamina food before you start. Start by placing four fires outside the shrine on the edge right here, and four inside the shrine. Get storage, which, instead of doing the method detailed in my first video, here's an easier one. Stand in the center of the elevator, facing perpendicular to the entrance. Back hop and fall damage cancel. Then press A and mash X right after unequipping your weapon or shield. Glide to the outer updraft. Do a height midair directly to the south. Spam X and pull glider as early as possible, then immediately pull bow after pulling glider, and don't exit bullet time. Detonate square bomb if necessary, and stay in bullet time until you can use both bombs again. Here is where you will eat your stamina food if you need it. From here, pull glider, then midair towards Shoka to Tone. Immediately start pause buffering, and if you didn't get unlucky, the cutscene should play when you land in its entrance radius and you will enter the shrine. Before you go, I also have a better version of getting shield surf storage for you similar to the new version of updraft storage I showed earlier. Stand behind the middle of the elevator, side hop then fall damage cancel. 
you can also gyro to look back towards the elevator a bit if needed. Upon unequipping, hold ZL, press A then mash X to front hop. Make sure you let go of A before mashing X, otherwise you'll shield surf jump without storage. Then the rest is the same as the other shield storage method. Lay in your jump, do a shield jump, then jump when you hit the ground to get away from the shrine. Have fun doing more SCWs and skipping the camera. And as always, thanks for watching.